Before we get into doing any math in this particular section, I wanted to start off with a little bit of vocabulary. In, uh, when we're talking about different types of number systems, uh, I'm often going to use certain types of words. When we talk about natural numbers, what I'm talking about here are the counting numbers. So what you started learning when you were little. We start with one, two, three, four, and so on, as big as you can make it. Uh, no fractions, no decimals, nothing special, just things that you would do if you were pointing and counting. Uh, when we talk about the whole numbers, what we do is we add in, the it's all the counting numbers, but we add in one more really important value, and that is zero. So we actually have a whole different vocabulary term that we use when we want to include zero in that particular set. Uh, the next type of value or number system that we like to talk about is integers. Integers are taken all of our whole numbers, but then we add in their opposites. So in this particular instance, when we talk about the set of all integers, we're talking about all the counting numbers, one, two, three, four, but also all of their negative counterparts. So things like negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, and all of those. So all of the, all the natural numbers, their negatives and zero as well are included in that set. Uh, the final number system that we're going to talk about on some of our problems here in the next couple of days is rational numbers. And a rational number is just any number that can be written as a fraction. This actually includes a lot of different values. So for example, we can include all of the integers because any integer can be written uh, by putting that fraction over 1. So example, for example, the integer of 3 could be written as 3 over 1. Negative 3 could be written as negative 3 over 1. Uh, of course, any fraction, uh, 1 third, 5 sevenths, doesn't matter, um, and any negative fraction. We can also include mixed numbers like this, negative 1 and 2 sevenths. Um, we also have other types of values that, would be, that could be included here. So for example, 0.4 could be written as 4 tenths, so any terminating decimal can also be written as a fraction. And in fact, any repeating decimal can also be written as a fraction as well. Um, let's see. Uh, so for example, if we have 0.3333333 that goes on forever, that's the same as one third. So really, at this point, you may be, may be asking yourself, well, what isn't a rational number? So for some examples of things that are what we call irrational, some common examples are um, numbers like pi. You may have heard of a number constant called e. Um, things like the square root of 2. All of these are examples of irrational numbers. And what these are are non-repeating decimals. They go on forever and ever and ever. Um, and they never end. So non-repeating and non-terminating decimals. So those are a few examples of things that might fit into that irrational number set. Uh, anyway, so as we continue on with our math explorations in the coming quarter, we will be talking about and referring to these different types of number systems.